A Cottage Grove-based nonprofit is ramping up its program of sending clean, burning cooking stoves to the developing world. Fox's Tom Adams has more on In Stove's big plans to help the nation of Ghana. The problem is immense. It's worldwide and has no easy solution. About half of the people on Earth cook on open fires every day. For Fred Colgan, the health and environmental toll of that fact is daunting. The equivalent of smoking packs of cigarettes a day is the impact of cooking on open fire. Cooking fires are also liquidating forests in much of the developing world. But Colgan and his partners are making a difference with these contraptions. So right now on this stove we've got a 15 gallon pot. These are 60 and 100 liter sustainable cooking stoves designed and developed by InStove. So what are you holding here? That's a two kilo bundle of, of fuel. That's what it would take to cook a pot full of food on the 60 liter stove. I bring these stoves to African women and they look at the little fire and they look at the pot boiling away and they say, that's not possible. Instove's latest project is a $25,000 fundraiser for Ghana in West Africa. 1.2 million poor women make their livelihood picking shea nuts and cooking them over open fires to make skin care products. Colgan says too much of their money is wasted on collecting wood. Given an instove, they could, they could very, very rapidly change the equation so they, they were profitable. The cooking pots in the stoves can also be swapped out for these autoclave devices used to sterilize medical tools. So can you save the world with sustainable stoves? Colgan says, why not? Being more impactful on, on the lives of poor people across the developing world. Tom Adams, Oregon's Fox. Colgan says if they make the $25,000 goal, that will pay for 25 sustainable stove kits in Ghana.